What's going on everyone? Here we are yet again. It's Thursday evening. Uh, this is uh, day four of working from home. Uh, you know, every so often you get the chance to work from home and you're like, hell yeah, this is gonna rule. And then you get to day four and you're like, wow, this is really what it's like to be at home all the time. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but we're not letting that stop us from having some Hot Butcher Fridays still or Hot Butcher Thursday night, whichever you may prefer. So that brings us to neon green relish. Listen, Hot Butcher is just, I don't under, I, I can't even grasp what the hell they're doing in 2020 because they're really just releasing hit after hit after hit of beer that is just incredible. I got the chance to have this last year. And if I remember correctly, this is the first beer that I know of that they were putting Savaro hops into. For you guys who have been paying attention to our reviews and watch us regularly, you know that I'm a huge fan of Sabro. I have been loving every Hot Butcher beer that they put Sabro into. This is no exception. It pairs up with Citra, which, uh, you know, when I was first a beer drinker, someone told me that Citra was like the bacon of hops, and I kind of agree. Bacon is better on, bacon makes everything better. Citra makes everything better. Maybe Sabro is my bacon of hops. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, I love the can. The simplicity is great sometimes, you guys. Uh, just the, just those, uh, the way that the can jumps out at you without having to have a lot going on. The tasting notes are fresh papaya, light coconut, and ripe tropical. Uh, and for those of you who are paying attention to the bottom of the can, uh, it is Austin 316 this week. I was telling Mike that it really reminds me of fourth and fifth grade when I used to watch uh, WWF on USA. Uh, so that's a little bit of a throwback if you think I did not know my wrestling. I do. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, let's get into the beer. Oh, that just smells delicious. You just, yeah, it's like this tropical kind of uh, like fruit salad sitting on the top here. I'm ready to pour this bad boy. That looks fantastic. So this is a little bit more on the lighter side, which I like. And this is going to be one of Hot Butcher's that is on the sweeter side, which I also happen to like. Kind of smells grassy. Maybe it's that papaya that I'm getting on the nose. I'm glad I bought a four pack of it. I hope Benny's has some more because honestly, I'm willing to, to forego social distancing to pick up another four pack of it. This is just bursting with flavor, you guys. It's nice and light. Um, this is a beer that unfortunately I would be saving a couple for the first Sox game of the season in a couple weeks, which we're not going to because, uh, you know, of the whole pandemic going around. Um, but I do, I do know I made a hell of a choice for a tailgating beer whenever we get the chance to get outside and finally do it. This beer is nice and smooth. The hops are really on point, but they don't overwhelm. You really do get that papaya. I feel like I maybe get more papaya this year than I got last year. Last year was very coconutty profile. This seems to have really a papaya feel to it. That coconut does come in, but it's really not as sharp as I thought it was last year. Definitely tropical as all get out. This beer is delicious as I expected. I expect no less from Hot Butcher in 2020. Uh, and honestly, I'm really excited that I got the four pack of it. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go to Benny's tomorrow and see if they have any leftover and get some then. Cheers guys.